Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video I am going to be talking about the new firmware for the DJI Mavic Pro because there's a few changes that people are getting a bit mixed up about and there's a little bit of confusion over exactly what is meant by some of the changes basically. Okay so we're talking about this new um, safety restriction DJ have included which is written as follows for increased safety the flight is restricted to a height of 30 meters and distance of 50 meters when not connected or logged into the app during flight including DJI Go 4 and all apps compatible with DJI aircraft so what do they mean by this you are not restricted to 30 meters in height and 50 meters in distance all of the time that is not the case what this restriction does is follows if you were to try and fly with just your controller and the mavic you would now have a restriction of 30 meters in height and 50 meters in distance if you tried to fly with your smart device as usual connected to DJI Go and you were logged into DJI Go and I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute but you were logged into the Go app you would have no restriction of any sort it would be the usual up to 500 meters in height and your distance would be based on the range of your signal the only time this restriction kicks in is if you try to start to fly without your smart device with Go connected at the beginning or you are not logged into the DJI Go app. Now just to explain that a bit further, on older versions of DJI Go you were able to run the app without actually being logged in. So you were able to open the app, choose not to log in and then use it. Since the latest version, 4.10, you can't do that. You have to log in to use the app. So on this one, I have uh, logged out. We're just waiting for it to um, kick in. And it comes to the home screen, and then it comes straight to the sign-in menu. So let me just pull that out of there a minute. So I cannot use DJI Go without signing in. You now have to sign in to DJI Go. So as long as you are using your smart device signed into DJI Go and connected, there is no restriction of any sort. If I do a couple of scenarios for you, if you were to take off just with the controller, with just the Mavic and the RC, as I said, you would be restricted to 30 meters in height and 50 meters in distance. If I, when I hit that restriction, connected my phone halfway through the flight, plugged it in, open DJI Go, the restriction would be lifted and you could continue out to the normal flight require, uh, distances and requirements. Once you have connected your phone with DJI Go, the restriction is lifted. It's as simple as that. Now, no matter what you do after that point, that restriction will not come back unless you turn off the Mavic. So, scenario two, if I was to take off with my phone connected, I would have no restriction. If I then disconnected my phone halfway through the flight, nothing would change. Once the restriction has been lifted at the beginning of the flight, it does not come back unless you turn the aircraft off and back on again. So you could land, you could disarm, you could rearm. No, no matter what you do, the restriction does not come back unless you turn the aircraft off, turn it back on and fly without your smart device connected. But again, the second you connect your smart device and log open DJI Go being logged in, the restriction is lifted and for the remainder of that time until you turn the aircraft off, you are no longer restricted. Um, if you are flying with DJI goggles, the goggles do not lift the restriction on the craft. So if you were flying with just the goggles, the RC, without your smart device, you would still have to connect your smart device to lift the restriction. Again, you'd only have to connect it once for a second, but you would have to connect it to lift the restriction. If you really wanted to fly without using the Go app, but you wanted to lift the restriction, to be honest, it only has to be connected at the very start. Now, I've done a lot of tests on this in the last 24 hours. And if I open DJI Go, now, 
the second I turn the Mavic on, and if we watch, the enter device will change. Give it a second. It changes to start fly. Now that is changed, the restriction is lifted. If I disconnect at that point, it doesn't matter what I do, the restriction is no longer there. So that's how quick it is to lift the restriction. You do not need the phone connected at all times to, ha to have the restriction removed. The phone only has to be connected once it doesn't even have to be at the start you could add it halfway through the flight but once your device is connected within dji go the restriction is lifted and it is lifted for the entire duration of that battery and or until you turn the aircraft off basically so um just to be clear on a couple of other things with regards to this i see a lot of things being said about internet access you do not require internet access to unlock this feature. It doesn't have to be online. As long as you are logged into your DJI account, it will unlock this restriction the second you plug your device in and open DJI Go. You would require an online connection to log in to DJI Go initially, but once you're logged in, it doesn't log out automatically. It generally stays in forever. So once you've logged into your DJI account, you don't have to worry about that. But you do not need internet access in the field to turn off this new feature. So what DJI have done is basically added a restriction when you're only flying without having the device connected. That is the only thing they have done. If you add the device at any point during the flight, the restriction is lifted and remains lifted until you turn the aircraft off. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll do another video again soon.